Think kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. The harvest. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats to visit Granny in the country. Granny! Meow! Oh! Welcome, my little dear ones. You're gonna play with us all day, like last time, right? Yeah! Bye-bye, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. kittens! Bye-bye! Play, play! play. Uh, we will be having playtime, but first I have to spend a little time taking care of the crops that are growing in my garden. Just look at all the things I've planted. Apples, carrots, strawberries, flowers. And all of them need to be looked after. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's help Granny do her gardening. That way she'll be done with her work sooner and have extra time to play with us. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Put your paws up if you're having lots of fun. Cheer up, kitties. After this, we get to pull all the weeds out of the garden and water all the flowers. If we do all that, we won't have time to play. Look, maybe we should skip something, like scraping this dirt around. But digging the soil is very important. We can only plant potatoes in loose soil. Doesn't work any other way. Have to loosen the soil, or you might as well plant your potatoes in concrete, which is impossible, by the way. <laughs> Skip the part where we pull all the weeds out. But weeds can mess up the look of the whole flower bed. Imagine if your mommy decided to just stop cutting her hair. Before you know it, her hair would completely take over. Ha! My darling, huh? Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but what if we um just uh wait until next time it rains instead of watering everything now? But plants need water every single day, just like us. What if your daddy decided he'd wait for it to rain before he took his next shower, huh? Yay! <laughs> All spring. <laughs> Gosh, looks like plants really count on us to help them live their lives. We have to take care of the plants. It's the right thing to do. I'm gonna march right into that flower bed and get rid of all the weeds. And me and Pudding will take care of the soil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kitten made rainstorm time. Would you like a nice drink, Mr. Apple Tree? The carrots are taking a shower. Now your leaves are so clean, strawberries. This will help all the flower buds to open up. The kitty cats got so involved in helping with the garden, they forgot all about playtime. Almost. Phew! You're such good helpers. Well, now that the garden work's all done, is it playtime? Uh, sure, yeah. Why don't we play the harvest game? Is it a really fun game? Ah, uh, it's tons of fun, and it's helpful as well. <laughs> Granny and the kitty cats had a great time collecting all the crops and washing them with cool, clean water. And now it's time to taste all that we gathered. That sounds great. We could really use a break from the game. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I love strawberries so much. Um, it's all because of your hard work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're the world's best brand kittens. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Oh. Well, you must have played really hard all day to get this tired. Yes, I don't think any bedtime stories will be needed tonight. Bring them back anytime and maybe stay yourself. There's a few games I'd love to see you playing. Oh, yeah, like that game you taught me, Paint the Barn. And what was that other one, Chopping Firewood? <laughs> I've got a great idea for a new game. Who will fall asleep first? Oh, I win. <laughs> the kitty cats had gathered a delicious harvest and had an absolutely wonderful day. Aliens. One evening, the kitty cats were over at their friend Chase's house. Every evening, I look up at those stars. I hope someday I'll spot a real UFO and get to meet some real aliens. But no one's ever found a real alien ever. Oh, yeah, I know. Kittens, time to head back home. 
Thanks very much for having us. <laughs> Who knows if aliens will ever visit Earth? They sure haven't come here yet. I feel bad because Chase really wants to meet aliens. What if he waits forever and then it doesn't happen? Forever's a really long time. I feel bad for him too. Why don't we pretend to be aliens for Chase and tell him we come from a planet way out in space? Great idea. Think how excited he's going to be. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, the kittens dressed up like they were from a distant planet. They put on hooded raincoats, headbands with antennas, and cool sunglasses. Oi! One second. Thanks for your help. Hey, shouldn't our voices sound different? If they don't, Chase will know who we are. Salutations from space, Earthling. We are aliens from the faraway planet Catavius. We come in, uh... In peace. No way! Real aliens? Awesome! Oi! I've been waiting for you to come. Guess you learned our language. What language does everyone speak back on Catavius? It sounds like this. Meow, 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 meow. That's really funny. Tell me something cool about the planet you come from. Hmm. The gravity on our planet is so strong that everybody there must bend over and walk four-legged. We also use four legs to climb up crazy space trees. And if we do ever fall down, we land on all four legs every single time that we fall. And sometimes beams of light appear, and everyone tries to catch them. It's the favorite sport on our planet. <laughs> what a fascinating place. And now I'll tell you how we all live. This is a rocket to fly into outer space. And this is a swing. This is a ball. Chase told the kittens many things that they, of course, already knew. It's a pillow for us to put our heads on when we're sleeping. This is a clock. Its job is to tell you the time. This is a telescope, a present from my dad this morning. And this is a book. It has pictures. We were supposed it's to be back home me. for lunch. It's we're late. Yeah, yeah, but how can we leave? I've got a really good idea. Here's the way to open a window. And here's the way to close one. And this is... Thanks very much, Earth Creature. But we must depart now. Otherwise, our, uh, spaceship will just take off without us and we'd be stuck. You guys really have a real spaceship? I have to see it, please! Run! Hold on! I'm coming! Where's your spaceship? Is it really cool? <laughs> oh, no! Chase will know it was us all along. <sighs> we just didn't want you to wait forever to meet your aliens. That's why we pretended to be aliens ourselves. Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I knew it was you guys all the time. But it was completely awesome. Why don't you come over later tonight? We'll look at all the stars through my brand new telescope. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! This is the fish constellation. And this is the big cat constellation. These four stars are its tail. See? The kitten saw that outer space is so beautiful that you look at it forever. All of us can gaze at the stars and imagine. First airplane adventure. One morning, Mommy and Daddy came in with some exciting news. We are leaving for a family vacation tomorrow. And guess what? To get there, we'll all be flying in an airplane. An, An airplane, airplane for, for real? real? Oh, wow. We haven't been on a real airplane before, guys. How does it work, Dad? Well, first, all of us will head to the airport. It's kind of like a house where all the airplanes live. Then they'll take all our luggage. Oh. Hey, stop! And then they'll check our tickets. One, two, three, four, but where's five? Five. Then we'll actually get on board, take off, and fly high above the clouds. 
Above the clouds? That's how high it goes? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next day, Mommy and Daddy and the kitty cats took a taxi to the airport. Come on! We don't want to be late for the plane or it will leave without us. Huh, really? First, we wrap up all our bags here so that nothing bad happens to any of them. It's just the big ones that need to get checked in. Pudding, no! And now we'll find out where we'll be sitting. I want to sit by the window! Well, I want one on the couch safe back at our house. Okay, now, Pudding will sit with Cookie and Candy. And this machine shows what's inside our bags. They're looking for liquid because you can't take that on board. Really? Oh. Hey, you can't take that bottle on the plane. Oh, guess I'll just have to go home then. <laughs> you can just drink the water here and then get on the plane. Aww. Hurry up, or we'll be late. Good. Now come on. Not yet. I have to visit the restroom. Attention, please. This is the final boarding call for Cookie, Candy, Pudding, and their parents. All right, hurry! Wait for us! I don't want to fly above the clouds. Just leave me here and go. You don't want to go on our trip? I do, but I'm really scared to fly. <laughs> I have a really good idea. What do we normally do when we're scared of something, Pudding? We scream, help, 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 help! No, we close our eyes. And then we're not nearly as scared, right? Candy and Cookie helped Pudding get on board and find his seat with his eyes closed. Wowee! We're flying incredibly high! The clouds look really magical and fluffy. Huh? Oh, wow. This isn't scary at all. In fact, it's pretty awesome. Soon we'll be serving some nice snacks and beverages. But in the meantime, how would you like some comic books or magazines to look at? Would you look at that? I can't believe I was afraid to fly because flying is so, so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Uh. Just tell me, are we in the air yet? Yes, darling. Super high. Is there anything that I can bring you? He'll be fine if he just sits with his eyes shut. Poor thing doesn't like flying. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'll be fine. Just don't let go of my paw, okay? The kitty cats ended up having a great time on the real airplane. And Brave Pudding wasn't afraid of flying anymore. <laughs> the restaurant. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kittens to a restaurant to celebrate their wedding anniversary. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. We're celebrating with our favorite meal tonight. This place has got the best pumpkin pie in the entire town. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Shh. Hush, kittens. You must mind your manners at a restaurant this night. Oh. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, sir. Allow me to escort your family to your table. Here we are. Uh -huh. Wow, it's a picture from your wedding. You looked really good back then, Mom. <laughs> looked back then? Mommy and Daddy still look just as good. Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> ah, oh, we know what we'd like to order. Can you please bring us the specialty of the house, the pumpkin pie? But of course. This is boring, guys. Is this any way to have an anniversary celebration? 
expected something really fun. Where are the fireworks and balloons? Why are there no rose petals falling from the ceiling? And aren't doves supposed to hold up a congratulations banner? Uh, this can't be much fun uh, for our poor parents. Try and figure out how to make this celebration even better. Well, we can ask the piano player to play a song that our parents love. We can ask the waiter to light some nice romantic candles when he brings us our pie. That's a great idea, Cookie. And I know something we can use instead of rose petals. Pink napkin pieces. Awesome. Operation Celebration begins now. Mm -hmm. Mommy? Mm -hmm. Daddy? May we go to the restroom to wash our paws? Mm hmm You may, kittens. Just be careful. The kittens tried their very best to help their parents enjoy their special night. Mm -hmm. Pudding made arrangements with the pianist. Oh. <laughs> As did Cookie with the waiter. <laughs> and Candy collected napkins. I figured out how to turn off the light. The candles will look better in the dark. Now we just need to wait until they bring our pumpkin pie out. Look, it's ah. coming now! All right, it's time! Very sorry. Mr. Waiter Cat, you were supposed to light the candles when you brought our pie out. But that wasn't your pie, little ones. It was for that gentle cat there. Whew. Here comes yours now. Oh, no. We wanted to make this the perfect celebration, but we just ruined everything. <laughs> we can see that you tried hard, kittens. It means a lot to us. <laughs> However, it's better if we started heading home. I'm very sorry for all this. I'd like you to have our pie as an apology. Oh, no worries. But you have something big to celebrate, don't you? So please, take it home with you. I have a really good idea. Welcome to Lit Fantasty Kitty Cat Restaurant. Might I suggest that you order the specialty of the house? Pumpkin pie. Enjoy. Happy anniversary, my dear wonderful wife. Happy anniversary, darling. Congratulations! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kitty cats made a lovely celebration, just like in a proper restaurant. It was wonderfully festive and very touching for their mommy and daddy. Very early one morning, Daddy tiptoed through the house to sneak out the front door. Daddy! <laughs> Where are you going so early? It's Mommy's birthday today, Daddy. Did you forget? Uh, I would never, ever forget Mommy's birthday, you know. But I left her present back at my office at work. I just need to slip out and pick up the present, then we can all wish her happy birthday. Wait for me, okay? So, so awesome! <gasps> Shh! Don't wake up, Mommy. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> the kitty cats were giving Mommy a beautiful drawing they made. It's the prettiest picture ever. What do you think Daddy's birthday present for Mommy is? Well, he said he left a present at his office, and his office is in the middle of a candy factory. I'm guessing it's a yummy cake of some sort. But Daddy brings cake home from work every weekend. And a birthday present is supposed to be special, Pudding. But you know, a cake can be awesome and special. For instance, you could put a letter inside it. What if Mommy accidentally ate the letter, though? Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> you could also hide some fireworks inside a cake so they could fly up and go kaboom! <laughs> Huh? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah. uh, but what if it goes wrong and doesn't fly up? Huh? Ah. Daddy should give 
gave her something really special to go with the cake. Something Mommy's really fond of. Mommy's fond of sports. And Mommy's fond of pink clothes. And Mommy thinks flowers are the best. Hey, let's pick a bouquet of pretty flowers. Then Daddy can give them to her as a present. <gasps> but the kitty cats had forgotten that Mommy's birthday was in the autumn. Still, they didn't give up. They looked everywhere for flowers. They looked... and looked. But pretty flowers just don't grow in the autumn. No flowers? What do we do now? <laughs> Daddy can't just give Mommy a cake and nothing else. Hmm. Oh, I think I have a really good idea. What if we made a bouquet from different fallen leaves? Because they're really colorful and pretty, aren't they? The kitty cats couldn't wait for Mommy to see the beautiful autumn bouquet. Good morning, everyone. <gasps> morning! Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Nothing behind our backs! <laughs> We're waiting to give you your presents until Daddy gets back, all right? Daddy gets back? Where did he go? <laughs> Where's the birthday girl? I have her present right here. <gasps> hey, guys, that's not a cake box. It's a beautiful pink tracksuit. And pretty shoes as well. <laughs> it's all the things you're fond of in one gift. Sports, clothes that are pink colored, and pretty flowers. Oh, darling, thank you so very much. What a perfect present for Mommy. Guess we don't need this bouquet anymore then. We still need it, Pudding. We'll give it to Mommy with our present. Love, Love you, Mommy. Mommy. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Time for your birthday, birthday presents. presents. First, there's this picture that we drew for you. <laughs> then this leaf bouquet. Oh, thank you, my little sweeties. Look at them. These are the most wonderful presents that I've ever received. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy had also brought a yummy cake, of course. And Mommy blew out her candles. But she couldn't think of anything to wish for that she didn't already have. A trip to the store. Mommy and Daddy were doing all their shopping, and they brought the kitty cats along. Spaghetti noodles. Bananas. And fresh fish. I think we might need a second shopping cart. How much longer? I want to go home and play. And I'm really hungry. Wait, looks like we forgot the milk, bread, and tea. <laughs> to pick it all up. While you pick it up, we could get the bread, milk, and tea. Good idea. That way it'll be faster. Well, I think we can trust you with this big, important grown-up job. Right Daddy and I will be waiting for you outside. Mommy gave them her wallet so they'd be able to pay. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie, you go and pick up the bread, and Pudding, you get the milk, and I'll find some tea. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> but the bread wasn't nearly as interesting as the toys. And who cares about milk when there's candy? And speaking of candy... Candy remembered that she had a very important job to do. But it looked like Cookie might have forgotten that. And Pudding, too. Where's the milk and bread? We have Mommy's wallet. There's enough money in it to buy anything. Milk and bread are kind of boring, but candy's awesome. Pudding, but then what will we drink if we don't have milk? Cups of candy? <laughs> Cookie, if we go home without any bread, then what's Mommy going to make sandwiches out of? Out of a toy bus? <laughs> Oh, all right. The kitty cats went to buy bread, but it turned out there were lots of different kinds. Let's just grab this one and go. But that's a cheesecake tart, Cookie. We're just looking for regular bread. Uh, how's this one? 
I'm pretty sure it needs to be brown. This one, then? That one's round, but the sandwiches that we eat are always square. Look, this one's square and brown as well. All right, that just leaves milk. It turned out milk came in different kinds, too. Strawberry. That isn't right. Chocolate, yum. Nope, still wrong. Well, is this it? That's yogurt, not milk. Uh, it looks like this is just normal milk. Then that's the one we want. Chase's mom was a cashier at the market. Cookie, candy, and pudding, too. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Look at you three big kitties, grocery shopping all by yourselves. We're in the middle of a big, important grown-up job. Oh, those skates are really pretty. I can wear them at the ice rink. Cool. You guys, we gotta get some skates. But you haven't got enough money to buy everything. It's either the skates or the groceries. Well, well, then, we'll, we'll take, take the, the skates. skates. Hang on, listen. If we really do this, we'll have skate soup for lunch today. Ready, everyone? Bon appetit. Oh. Ice skate soup doesn't sound very yummy. And I'll bet ice skate sandwiches are even worse. We'd like to use the money to pay for our groceries. That's why we're here. Mommy, Daddy, Daddy hey. hey! We got everything. Well done, my little dears. You did your big grown-up job very well. Are you ready for a nice surprise? <laughs> ice rink tickets all around. Mommy and I bought them while you three did the grocery shopping. The ice rink? Awesome! That's what we wanted! But we don't have any ice skates, boys. That's all right. We can just rent skates for you there. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats did great at their big, important grown-up job, but having a wonderful time with the whole family was the most important job of all. Willpower. One day, Daddy baked some lovely muffins. Oh! Ooh, yumminess alert! Now, kittens, the muffins need to cool for a bit. You can all have a muffin once they're cool, after supper. Supper? But that's ages and ages away. Well, you'll just have to use a little willpower. Uh, willpower? What's that? Willpower helps us when we need to stick to a decision we've made, even if it's hard and we don't really want to go through with it. Like not eating muffins before supper. Oh. Having them now would ruin your appetite. Oh. Let's make it a game for you. The kittens who don't eat a muffin before supper will get a lovely prize. Prize? So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sounds like we have a deal then. Oh, but I so want just one delicious muffin. They just smell so good. Let's <laughs> use your willpower. Why don't you play a game of chess? That'll keep your mind off of muffins. Ooh. Or take your robot and play with candy for a little while. Uh, hmm. I'll be back in just a moment. I'm gonna take huh? these into the kitchen. That way they won't tempt anyone. Cookie! Mm. I've got an idea. The three of us should go out to the playground. There won't be any muffins out there. <laughs> Everyone, I've got a surprise. My mommy just baked all these beautiful and delicious muffins. Go on, have some. Huh? Ah! No! Remember to use your willpower. Oh. We promised Mommy that we wouldn't have any muffins at all before supper. Yeah, but this isn't one of the muffins from our house. But if we eat them now, we won't be hungry when supper time comes. You must remember your willpower. Come on, I'm taking Whoa. you home. Muffin! Tasty muffin! <laughs> Maybe Cookie really is super hungry. 
Let's get him a banana or something. Wow. Look at how fluffy they are. Yeah. That they're super yummy as well. Ah! <laughs> give me the muffins. No, give them to me. <laughs> no. Oh. oh no! You ate all of them. Uh, now, kittens, what happened to the muffins? Are you telling me you didn't follow the rules of the game? We tried. We honestly, really tried to use our willpower. But well, in the end, I guess we just couldn't do it. We didn't eat the muffins. That means we win. Huh? Oh wow! We thought you ate them all. I dreamed of these muffins all day, but when I realized you wanted to eat them as much as I did, I decided to help you by hiding them. I've learned something awesome. If the three of us always help each other to get through it when something's difficult, then together we can do anything. You're right about that, Candy. And because the three of you have done so well, you've earned some wonderful prizes. I made you some new t-shirts, so everyone will know that you have wonderful willpower. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wow! I'd like to try that just like you and really test my willpower. I'd love that. But first, let's all play a game of tag. So we can build an even bigger appetite. <laughs> <laughs> so the kittens learned all about willpower and how it's easier to stick to something if you can all help each other. Bicycle! It was a big day. Mommy and Daddy gave Candy her very first big girl bicycle. Surprise! <laughs> Hooray! Now I'll be able to enter the big bicycle race with you guys! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wait, I just remembered I don't know how to ride a big girl bike. You'll learn to ride without training wheels in no time if your brothers give you lessons. <laughs> yeah! It's pretty easy. Yep. Candy was very proud to show off her new bike to their friends. Look at you! Candy, you look all grown up on your new bicycle. It's beautiful, Candy! When are we going to start the race, everyone? Well, we have to teach Candy how to ride her new bike first. Uh... It's easy, Candy, watch! Cookie rode so fast, poor Candy could barely follow what he was doing. Get all that? No. Well, just give it a try anyway. Ah! Well, that didn't work at all. Here, I'll show you the proper way to ride. Pudding did just what Cookie did, only much slower. Candy watched as closely as she could. Ah, I don't think I can do this. Watch, this is how you turn. Look, the most important thing is that you pedal really fast. Um, I think the most important thing to learn is balance. Ringing the bell is important because it sounds so very pretty. Candy tried her best to remember all of her friend's advice. Come on, Candy, you can do it. Ah! Ouchie. How will I ever remember to turn with the handlebars and pedal really fast and keep my balance and ring the bell at the same time? Well, if you start at the top of a steep hill, you won't have to pedal hard to get so fast. But, Cookie, how will I keep my balance? Uh, uh. Then for balance, we could just put really giant wheels on your bike. Ah! But pudding, wouldn't that be sort of dangerous? Ah! <laughs> we should just tie a rubber band to two trees and then... Yeah! Nah, we should tie some pretty pink balloons to Candy's bike. You'd stay well balanced and look just lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna learn to do this. Ah. Chase's daddy had arrived to start the big race. What was Candy going to do? It's time to start the race, little ones. Here's the starting line, and the finish line is at that red flag. Be good sports and have fun. But I can't. Hooray! After I win, I'll come back and show you how to ride, Candy. I promise. But if I win, I want to be the one who teaches her how. On your marks. Kids, get set. I'm going to win and teach Candy how to ride. No, you're not. All right, don't give up, Candy. Just try to keep your balance. Uh. Now just try to pedal. Uh. Balance, pedaling, turning, and ringing the bell as well. <laughs> yeah! Meanwhile, the competition was getting pretty fierce. I'll teach Candy way better than you. I will! Uh. 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 
Ah! Oh. You guys look funny when you're all stacked up like that. Huh? After a dramatic four bike pileup, the winner is Little Candy! <laughs> Are you kidding us? Hey, hey, Dad. Dad. Hey, hey Mom. Mom. Candy learned how to ride her big girl bike all by herself. It was awesome. She won the race and beat all of us. That's right. I had a feeling everything was going to turn out all right. Well, it didn't turn out so great for us because we lost the race. We didn't even finish. <laughs> Candy learning how to ride a bike is a win for the entire family because it means we'll be able to go on bike rides all together. There are trails all around our park. Daddy had already mapped out their first family bike ride picnic. Awesome! And when the family is on a long ride, we'll all be wearing our glow-in-the-dark bicycle safety vests. All right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Candy may have won the race, but the family got a new way to have fun together, which is the best prize of all. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> The Feathery Thief. One day, the kitty cats were playing in their room as usual when they started to notice something odd. Huh? Pudding? Have you seen my shiny new whistle? Did you take it? I don't have it. Candy, my brand new whistle is gone. Just wait. First, I have to look for my nice new hairpin. Nope. You didn't take it, right? My magnifying glass is gone. Candy, did you pick it up? Why would I want your magnifying glass? But my hairpin must have been taken by one of you. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. Well, I haven't seen your hairpin or magnifying glass, but I want my whistle. But who took my hairpin? Give me back my magnifying glass. Come on. All right. What is all this fighting? Now, which of you kitty cats can tell me where my other earring's gone? We, we didn't, didn't take it. it. That means there's a thief in our house. <laughs> if there really was a robber in the house, I'd have probably spotted him. Huh? What's going on? My jelly spoon was just right here. Where is it? <gasps> I got it. There's a thief in the house. We have to figure out just what the thief wants. But first, we have to figure out why he took the items he did. A spoon, an earring, magnifying glass, hairpin, and whistle. Well, he took a jelly spoon, so he must really like jelly. <laughs> of course, everyone likes jelly, so that's no help at all. They took one of my earrings. And my other hairpin. Which could mean that our thief is a girl, right? And maybe they took my magnifying glass because they can't see well. And she likes sports because she also took my referee whistle. All right, so Grandma is our robber? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, Grandma is a very clever lady. Hang on now. We can't accuse someone without evidence. What we should do is leave some bait for the thief, you know? What do all these things have in common? For one thing, they're all shiny. Daddy's car key is shiny, so they used it as bait. Everyone held their breath and waited to see who the thief was. Looks like the robber's a magpie, guys. Oh, don't let that bird fly away with my car keys. <laughs> Great, how am I ever going to get to work now? Hang on, dear. Don't panic. I have an idea where all our missing things are. Look at that. It's like a treasure chest in there. Seems like we weren't the only victims of this particular thief. The kitty cats called their neighbors, who came running when they heard the neighborhood robber had been caught. Ah. They had all lost shiny things. <laughs> Here's just our stuff left. Ready? Earring, dear. <laughs> Magnifying glass, your hairpin, ah. whistle, ah. my keys and spoon, yay! So that's that. Let's head home. Oh. Huh. 
I feel bad for the bird. She really loves sparkly things, but she doesn't have any of them left. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we find some other really sparkly, shiny thing for the birdie? Then she'd have shiny stuff that was all hers, and nobody would try to take it away ever. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kitty cats left a nice shiny bottle cap for the magpie. And thanks to the feathery thief, they learned that you always need to figure out the facts of a case before you accuse someone, especially your grandma. <laughs> Memory. One day the kitty cats were getting ready to go to the playground. Uh, <laughs> hey, Pudding, can you do me a favor and let me know when it's 2 o'clock? I'll be sure to let you know. What's happening then? There's a show about submarines coming on TV at 2 o'clock. I really want to watch it. Kittens, are you ready? Did you remember everything? Oh, yes, I think so. Cookie, did you remember to feed our goldfish? Uh, sorry, I forgot. But, Cookie, I asked if you would do that. Don't worry, I'll feed your fish for you. Why don't you go on and play? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Cookie, did you bring the book about vampires? Sorry, but I forgot it. But Cookie, you keep forgetting it again and again. Yeah, remember when I asked for your help building my model of the moon and you forgot? I'm sorry, I just sort of have a hard time remembering stuff. How about we try to train Cookie's memory? Then he could remember stuff better. Yes, that'd be just great! All right, all you have to do is take a good look at these objects and remember all of them. All right, sure. Hmm, let's do this. First, close your eyes. Now take a look and tell us what is different. Hmm. The doll's gone. Very good. Now close your eyes again. Open up and tell us what's changed. Now the ball and bucket are gone. Hmm. Hmm, that's right. Now close them again. Open them. Hmm, the ball is back, but now the net is missing. Looks like you're pretty good at seeing things and remembering. Let's do a different kind of test, like a quiz to figure out how fast Cookie's memory is. Here we go. The first question is, what color is your grandma's favorite dress? <sighs> I know that. Her favorite dress is lilac. You're, You're right. right! How many steps does your cellar staircase have? Uh... Uh, 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 uh. Seven! You're, You're right. right! What time does your father leave for work in the morning? Uh, running late. It's almost nine. <laughs> I know. At nine o'clock. Time. Oh, no. Pudding, what time is it? It's half past two. My submarine show has already started. Oh, no! That wraps up the best show we've ever done. It was awesome. See you next time. Oh, I missed it. Missed it completely. Hey, Pudding, I asked you to tell me when it was 2 o'clock, remember? <gasps> Sorry, we started playing and I forgot all about your show. Well, it's not easy to remember requests from other people. I remember by writing them down. Like this, look on the internet for the program about submarines that Cookie wanted. So I'll remember it now. Great, Mommy. Thanks. I think I understand now how my friends felt when I forgot all the things they wanted me to do for them. I have a really good idea. Cookie can write his friend's requests in a notebook just like Mommy. Then he won't forget them anymore. That is a great idea, Candy. You can even use this notebook right here, Cookie. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, I did all the things for my friends that I'd forgotten. Look here. I gave Smudge his book and helped Chase make his moon model. Very well done, darling. And I remembered to keep the promise I made to you as well. Look, I tracked down the submarine show that you missed. Greetings, wonderful viewers. Today's awesome program is all about submarines. Awesome! Thanks a lot, Mommy. 
From then on, Cookie took care to keep other people's requests in mind, and he used his special notebook to help him remember. Thank <laughs> you.